Welcome back to the This Is All Skate Shop YouTube channel. I just arrived in Munich in Germany for the ISPO. And the ISPO is a big convention center where all the big sport brands present their new products and also the inline skate brands. So that's why I'm here. I'm gonna check out all the new stuff that's gonna be released in 2020 and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. But first I'm gonna do a little downhill. I'm not used to having hills. <laughs> Woo! All right, up to the convention center. I made it to the ISPO. As you can see here, this is a very big hall and there's like uh, maybe like 15 of these facilities over here. So that's how big it is. There's all sorts of sports. Now the first thing I want to do is to find uh, the FR brand and the Dem Skates and say hi to those guys and check out the new Dem 909 skate. Hey! Yeah! Good! <laughs> Them, Wish, Sonic, Intuition, FR, and Seba are all distributed by the same company called Universe Skate. So their products were all in the same spot at the ISPO as well. Them Skates has two models the current 908 and the new 909 skates that will drop the end of March. The new skates look really good and feel a lot more solid than the 908s. That means they are more suited to be used with bigger wheels. The wish frames now come in a version with smaller wheels. It will have 65mm outer wheels and 58mm inner wheels, available in two wheel bases for big and small feet. The groove, however, will be the same for both these wheel bases. Seba used to make the Seba FR, but this mold will now only be used by the FR brand and Seba made a new freestyle skate to replace it called the E3. They're also going to make a new edition of their aggressive skate, but for this one I cannot say yet what the plan is. FR Skates is also coming with a very very cool product that I cannot say anything about yet. You will see a preview of them at Winter Class. Besides that, FR is working more and more to distinguish itself from Seba Skates, with whom they share the history. FR Skates will continue to make their classic FRX 1, 2 and 3 skates in a variety of colors and with 4 wheels or 3 wheels options. And they also have an FRI skate. And then next up is Power Slide. And they are renting a convention room over here. And I'm almost there. Here you can see it. Cool. Power Slide is a brand by itself, but it's also the umbrella company for other brands like USD, Kaiser, Anui, and Wicked. USD in 2020 will continue selling models like their USD Sway, Team 3, USD Shadow, and the God Skates, which they co own together with Frankie. What is new is that they are making a big step for children with their Aeon skate because they will now come in a smaller shell size, perfect for people with size 36 to 38. Another improvement for the Aeon is a more natural feeling shock absorber, meaning the height is much more what is considered normal for an aggressive skate. Previously the Aeons had a one very slim shock absorber in the skate and an extra slim one in the box, so that if you wanted you could change your heel height by adding the two on top of each other. A lot of people didn't get this however, so now it comes packed and ready to skate. I really like the design of the new Carlos Bernal USD Carbon Pro Skate. It reminds me of the old USD7 Just Petty Skate. It even uses the same logo on the side. The USD written on the strap looks really nice 
and the whole sneaker look is on point. Another new drop is to use the Sway Chris Farmer Pro Skate coming in a special grey purple look. Chris had so many pro skates in his life, but this is the first non shadow skate with his name on it. I asked USD if they could make the sole blade continue all the way around the toe. And they actually did this a little bit. They couldn't make it entirely surrounding the toe though, because the mold of the sole blade doesn't allow that. Guys will keep on selling their classics like the Fluid and Slimline frames. They added the Element 2 and the Trinity Mount Flux frame in 2019. What is new is the Kaiser Fluid 5, which will be a true fluid flat frame, similar to the Celtic flat and the Ground Control Mega frame. Wicked bearings will keep on going with their strong collection of bearings and has some new multi tools that will drop soon. And new, we created a crash pad together with our team Radiel and Brigaman, in which you can add and remove pads where you wish. More info about this in my podcast with Jelle. They also made a helmet called the Elite, which is 30% lighter than a normal helmet. It has a honeycomb structure inside and an integrated external shell. Powerslide has a new LED wheel out with a battery. In the old LED wheels, the energy got generated by the dynamo, and this has some internal magnetic resistance, slowing the wheel down. Without that resistance, these wheels will be as fast as you are used of from Powerslide wheels. They already had good options to convert inline skates to ice skates with 165 and a Trinity mount. But this year, they will also come out with an ice plate that you can put in your frame instead of your wheels. For their hardwood freestyle skates, they have the Zoom, Next and Imperial models. These skates are great, so in principle I always want to stock all of them in all sizes, at least in black. And maybe in more colors if they look good. It is such a pity that these black models are going in and then out of stock, that I always talk to the brands and ask them to have a base always in stock black model, similar to a Converse All-Star shoe in black. Classic and always there. Powerslide will now actually try to do this, partially thanks to me pushing for it. I also pushed them to make bigger frames for skates in bigger sizes. They just finished the 90mm Trinity mount frame and in the future it will be standard for the biggest sizes and the 80mm frame for their medium sizes. A good freestyle skate should be very strong and supportive. Most softwoods though are too weak to pass our test and that's why we do not sell them. The dupe skates also have this problem. If you want to skate the dupe skates, I'd advise to use the USD shadow strap right here. This makes it a lot stronger. I gave them this feedback so let's hope it improves on the next dupe models. For their 2020 swell skates, the stiffness is greatly improved for the skates that have this new buckle. I tested it and never realized that the quality of a buckle can improve a skate that much. This one is just super stiff now. Perfect. Their other soft boots look too funky and are too unsupportive for us to sell at This Is Soul. Is there any of them that you do like? Drop it in the comments. For their kid skates, they just came out with a cool innovation. It has a little screw that lets you tighten the wheel so that any extreme beginner can slowly get used to having wheels underneath their feet. Wow. Powerslide has so much cool new stuff. Next up is a company that we're not selling yet. Um, they're from Eastern Europe and they actually make quite good skates, but I didn't like the aesthetics up until now because I don't like like graffiti style or like too many colors or I like a, a clean and simple skate. You can have some colors, but it needs to be I don't know, it needs to be done right. And uh, two years ago I met them as well here at the ISPO and I gave them this feedback and I hope that they change something. So let's go to this company now, it's called Tempish and let's see what they have. And there they are. So this is the Tempish booth. Hey guys. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> their Kronos model actually will only cost 100 euros retail price. And their trade show booth also looked really cool this year with all the pallets. Good job Tempest. I walked into every booth with an inline skate in it and this was a funny one. Two very interesting German guys who made their own speed inline skate frame. 
innovative about this frame was that it was kind of an anti-rocker frame slash suspension frame. The idea is that when you're just rolling, you will do it on the outer wheels, which are super hard, making you go faster. The problem with this normally would be that at the moment you would push, these hard wheels wouldn't have much grip, so your push wouldn't be effective. With this frame, at the moment that you push, you will push the other wheels that are smaller to the ground, making you grip and allowing you to push even harder. It's a very cool innovation, but it's not really something that we could use at this is all, I think, since we're not selling speed skates. Next up is the Roaches booth. It was no surprise that two weeks ago they dropped a new M12 and a new fifth element because they knew they were going to show it at the ISPO. Niels has a new fifth element pro skate, his second Roaches pro skate. On the photos the sole plate and the lacing area looks blue, but in fact these will be black. It was just an issue with the product photo. The colors are very classic like that because they look a lot like one of their first fifth elements from the 90s. I love that Roaches is embracing its legacy like that. It strengthens our history and culture by doing so. The other skate is a blue M12 team skate. Roaches started marketing their skates as being made from recycled material, stating that this is the reason for a recent price increase. The Niels fifth element is 10 euros more expensive than the previous fifth element pro skate, and the team M12 is now 30 euros more expensive than the previous team M12. Both skates will drop in April. The M12 boot is also used for a freestyle skate, quad skate, and an ice skate which I think is cool. They also developed a new freestyle skate a couple of years ago called the X35. And now they added a new skate called the Ego. This is the same boot as Playlife used a few years back. The Roaches soft boots are still too unsportive and come in too much funky colors for us to stock at this assault skate shop. But they have improved their marketing for these skates by having aggressive skaters wearing their soft boot fitness skates on photos like this which I really like. Cool pants. Rollerblade was there too, but at first I couldn't find them. Rollerblade is a part of the Technica group. They focus a lot on winter sports like skiing. I managed to get a meeting with Erika Zanetti, who is a speed skater. She showed me the new collection. For freestyle skates, they changed the color a bit for the twister. Nothing much special going on, but it's also a very solid skate that doesn't need much changing. The twister actually has two different frame lengths for different uh, feet, but the difference is only one centimeter. And if you think about it, like the difference between their smallest skate, like a size 36, is definitely more than one centimeter difference than their size 37. So I pointed this out to Erica, and I hope someday they'll improve this. For people with big feet to get a really good wheelbase, they would need to go to the Maximum Edge 90 skate, and it is not available in like a clean color, so that is too bad. Their entry price hardwood skate is the RB80. I heard good things about it. Um, the best version I've seen so far is the Danny Aldridge Pro Skate, which I think looks quite okay. Their aggressive skates are a carryover from last year, which I think works fine. The new Jack is just a good solid skate in a good colorway. Looks good, skates good. Doesn't need changing in my opinion. Not too far from Rollerblade is K2 Sports. They are also very big in skiing. K2 is well known for their soft boots. The downside of these types of soft boots though is that they lack some support compared to a skate like the RB Twister. To make skating easy for beginners, we need to improve this performance issue with entry level skates. The K2 aggressive skates work fine though, so it's definitely possible to make it work. They, like Rollerblade, have a carryover of their 2019 catalog for this year's aggressive skates. Fila is by far the most well known brand that makes skates. Most random people on the street will be familiar with it. That is why I want them to do good. I spent a lot of time in the last couple of years talking to them to improve their catalog. And I'm very happy to see that they incorporated my feedback because their new Fila NRK Pro looks great. Good job Fila. <clears throat> At This Is So, we also sell other Fila merchandise like clothing and shoes. No other skate brand has so many soft goods. Head is another ski brand that had a big booth at the ISPO and I was surprised to see a Head brand inline skate using the same mold as the Powerslide Bronx. I myself had never even heard of the brand Head myself, so I thought this was pretty cool. The Alcatraz and Famous brands 
are owned by Vincent Isaac under the South Corner Company. It was super fun hanging out at his booth with Totogali and a lot of other skaters. Famous is diversifying their wheels by adding a bunch of colors this year, including an all black wheel. Finally, Famous is also making sunglasses that we will be selling this summer at our shop as well. And they're also working on something new and exciting that I cannot tell you anything about yet. Sorry. Alcatraz is making the best knee pads for inline skaters because it protects that weird little bone that you always fall on when you miss your grind. They will now also make knee pads with a plastic pad on it in 2020. And they have a standard helmet and a helium helmet that is super light and slim, just like the Powerslide Elite helmet. There were two snow skate manufacturers at the ISPO. Snowfi and Stoltz Bootskis. Both methods to skate on the snow. What do you guys think of this? I really like to know if you think that this is something we need to get behind with This Is All Skate Shop. We did have snow skates a couple of years ago and we made a cool promo video with them where my friend Tiert even made a sole grind. So I really like the product, uh, especially if you can use them with your inline skates. But maybe I would like my skis to be like a little bit longer, so maybe like one meter or something in instead of like only like 30 centimeters. I don't know, I'm not really sure yet what to think of all this, so please let me know what your opinions are. All the products mentioned in this video will be put online on thisisoul.com ASAP for pre-ordering. So go to our website, link in the description if you're interested in any of these products and over there you can read more about them. 2020, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Play! <laughs> 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 and it's a wrap! Alright, we're done with the ISPO 2020. This guy helped us. Oh, thank Real you, cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, it was super cool. Uh, we hang around with the Universe Skate booth a lot with all these cool people. And now we're gonna get some rest, get some food finally. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>